Today we're going to show you how to change the check valve on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and a number 15 and 20 Torx bit and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we're going to start by opening the door and we'll need to remove both of the racks. So slide the bottom rack out and set that aside. And we'll pull the top rack out and we'll need to release the rack stops on the top rack and there's a little locking tab at the very end of the rack stop. And just depress that and then lift up on the stop and remove it. And carefully slide the upper rack completely out of the dishwasher and set that aside. Next we'll push the rails in so that we keep them out of the way. Next we're going to remove two Phillips screws, one on the ceiling and one on the back wall that secure that rear supply tube. All right, turn the spray arm nut clockwise to release it and lift that out of the way. And then we can take the whole upper spray arm supply tube and the outlet from the pump and just turn those clockwise to disengage them from the hook at the back. And you can release that tube from the back of the outlet by lifting up on that tab. pushing it back and then you can remove that tube. Now we can turn that outlet to the slots line up and then just simply lift that straight off of the pump cover. Can next remove center spray arm bearing. And the four number 20 torque screws. And then just lift the pump cover and filter assembly out of the dishwasher. Set that aside. Now we have a little cover that sits over top of that check valve and it's held in place with a number 15 torque screw. Holds that cover in place. And then just rotate that cover. Up, and I'll lift it out and we can set that aside. Now with a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll just grasp that old check valve and pull it up out of the opening. And if it comes out in one piece, we're all set. If not, we'll need to take a flat blade screwdriver or a hook of some sort to dig out any of the excess that may be trapped down in the sump area. And we'll take the new check valve, set it into that opening, and then just press it firmly into place. So it's, before we put the cover back in, we want to make sure that we clean these grooves out. Make sure that there's no debris in those. And we'll also clean the area around that chopper screen. And then we'll hook this portion over the top of where the check valve went into the opening. Press it firmly into place without forcing it. And we'll replace that number 15 torch screw. We can put the pump cover and screen assembly in place. Make sure that we line up this outlet with the 
hole in the bottom of the sump area. And it should drop flat into place. Next, we'll install the four number 20 torque screws. Next, we'll set the lower spray arm bearing in place, making sure that we have the wear washer on the top of that. And it just sits in position. Don't try to force it down into the opening or it will spread that center hub too far to allow the outlet tube to fit onto it. We'll next slide that down into position. There are three slotted openings there that will allow us to fully push it down and then it will lock over counterclockwise. Before we lock it, we'll put the upper spray arm supply tube in place. And we'll be sure to engage the bottom of it in that opening until it latches. Make sure that snaps into position. And then we can rotate that counterclockwise until it locks into the pump cover. Next, we'll replace the two Phillips screws one in the top and then one against the back wall. We'll reinstall the lower wash arm, set that over that center nut and then we'll turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. Check to make sure that it spins freely. Now we're ready to put the racks in place. Begin with the upper rack We'll line the wheels up on one side, pull the rack slightly forward, engage the second wheel. And then pull the racks forward enough that we can reinsert the rack stops. Make sure the open end goes on pointing down and press them firmly into place. So that they lock. And we'll reinstall the lower dish rack. And our repair is complete.